The sound of Sudan's uprising, made loud and clear in front of the army headquarters in the capital Khartoum. These protesters have been here for nearly three weeks, demanding change. We are continuing with our sit-in so that we can guarantee that our demands will be achieved, demands that we came out for and that people have sacrificed their lives for. If the demands are not met, then this sit-in will not end. They're demanding that the military council, the body that ended President Omar al-Bashir's 30-year rule, hand over power to a civilian government and to hold all former officials to account for alleged corruption and the lives lost during the three decades that Bashir and his ruling party were in power. The military took over on the 11th of April in a move that was condemned by the African Union, which gave the council until the end of the month to transfer power to the people. Foreign diplomats have expressed similar demands, and the United States stated that it will not recognize the council if that doesn't happen. On Saturday, the head of the African Union Commission, Musa Faki, met council leaders and political parties in Khartoum. The council had stated that forming a transitional government was a task for the parties. But some say they need more time to make that happen. We told them that we as political parties must meet, regardless of our ideology, vision and number. We must meet with the AU and agree on transitional government. And we've asked the AU to extend the deadline they gave for handing over power for further consultations. A position that is not held by all sides. The Sudanese Professionals Association, which led the calls for protests that started in December, continues to encourage the sit-in in front of the army headquarters. Along with 22 other parties, it wants power to be handed immediately to an independent transitional government for a period of four years. A proposal that shows that not all parties are united and that forming a transitional government may not be an easy task. Some say they'll hold on to their demands, hoping for a different Sudan for a future generation. We will achieve victory when there is a civilian government, because through a civilian government we will have a permanent constitution to preserve the rights of our youth. They didn't have any rights for 30 years. What happens now will largely depend on these protesters and those leading the military council. More than a week after the military deposed President Omar al-Bashir, Sudan is still without a government and the military council is under pressure to hand over power. Pressure that comes in the form of diplomatic visits from regional blocs and international diplomats as well as weeks long sit by protesters who say they don't want the military to deprive them of a victorious revolution. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Khartoum.